Hey everyone, we're here in the KHOU 11 News Studios. I'm Nicole Jones, senior producer. And I'm Kristen, producer, Kristen Beecher. And tonight we wanna to talk about our favorite from this year's Juneteenth special, A Legacy in Song. Um, we both worked on a segment about KCOH Radio and it was a lot of fun putting it together. We learned so much um, just about how important black radio was back then and still is right now. So Yeah, for sure. Um, I really, I thought I really knew the importance of black radio in terms of like breaking music and like bringing music into homes at the time, but I didn't realize just how much of a role it played in the civil rights movement um, and how the radio was really just the way that we treat like social media now or like maybe TV a couple of years ago, like everyone gathered around, everyone was listening to the same thing. So it was really a powerful tool um, to get information out and also to get music out, which was like fun and exciting to hear something new, a new sound. So that was really cool to learn. Yeah, and I loved how um, the gentleman that we interviewed, they talked about how it was a safe space for black artists to come and really debut big records that went on to become really popular records. Um, they, one big artist was Ray Charles, and Kristen actually found a really cool clip um, from the movie Ray with Jamie Foxx, where KCOH Radio was featured in Ray, so that was really cool, and I love that you found that. Yeah, it was really cool to see that. I mean, I've seen the movie Ray so many times and mm -hmm. I never put it together that that was like the KCOH that like Same. I drive by on Almeida. Like that's so crazy that that was um, such a big part of the career of somebody who's an icon and a legend. Um, and it's really cool to see how um, this was Houston and you don't always think of Houston as like a big city for celebrities, but when they were breaking music and making songs um, popular, artists would have to just travel all mm -hmm. up and down the country trying to get people to want to play their music. Um, so it was cool to see just how important of a role that Houston and KCOH played in making hits that we still know today or like classic songs. Yeah. So we can't wait for you all to see the KCOH segment in this year's June Team Special. My name is Michael Harris. I'm the longest running continuous talk show host in Houston at this time. I have been with KCOH since 1975. We played whatever happened to be hot at the time. An R&B audience for sure. R&B and gospel. And it was pretty much like that across the country, but here there was just a taste of black country in there that I found unusual and appealing. They would bring records to us to break. Remember, we also ended up in the movie Ray. We're listening to that new recording, Mess Around, by Atlanta recording artist Ray Charles. And we have the gentleman live here in the KCOH studios. So Ray, when you're not making your own music, what do you listen to? Uh, well, you know what, the fact is, King B, man, I really and truly love gospel, man. I mean, one of my favorite groups is from right here in Houston, uh, the Cecil Shaw singer. You heard it. Ray Charles endorses Houston's own Cecil Shaw. Ray Charles, we broke records for him. James Brown, Parliament, Funkadelic, even Charlie Pride came through. The music was paramount to me, but then as I matured, I understood that I had the, an obligation to try to enrich a community too. We entertained people, but then we had a public service that helped stoke a movement because we were messengers. I played message songs, I played speeches from Dr. King, from Malcolm, and other folk because people needed to hear those words. And what you and I have to let the man know is we are peaceful people. We are loving people. We love everybody who loves us. And I think this march will go down as one of the greatest, if not the greatest, uh, demonstrations for freedom and human dignity ever held in the United States. I'm sure that many things will happen as a, happen as a result of the march. Music played 